Hello, Elf from Anella Visuals here, and in today's video we're going to be looking at um, how to set up some Rembrandt lighting inside of Maya. You can see on the screen here that um, I've got uh, a character and um, some lights, a camera, and a little Infinity Studio. And the effect that we're looking to create is this little inverted triangle underneath um, the eye, and that was a uh, hallmark of Rembrandt's paintings um, and that's been used a lot in lots of um, portrait photography, film and television it's been used a lot and it's a really good starting point um, whenever you're setting up any studio lighting setups so I would usually start with this Rembrandt setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete my lights that I have here um, I'm going to leave my camera in and I will delete this mesh light as well. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, an Arnold area light. I'm going to scale it up a little bit, move it back, bring it up to be up here. And then I'm going to look through that light source. I'm going to turn my render view on so I've got an interactive um, render going on. Increase my exposure. And now looking through my light, I'm going to start to rotate and move it. And I'm, I'm basically going to be moving it up um, to about 45 degrees from, from the camera. If we have a look at where we are, you'll notice that the camera is sort of pointing up this way and then we're about we're about 45 degrees in terms of the rotation angle and then what you want to do is actually start to point that light source down and you should start to notice that you're getting this little little triangle underneath the eye and you will notice this more if you decrease the spread over here in your light. Once you do this, you might need to compensate and decrease the exposure a little as well. Because you'll start to see that it's, it's getting a bit blown out. So if you bring that spread quite down quite far, it's easier to see what you've got going on. Again, now you can see clearly that we've got a nice little inverted triangle just underneath the eye. I'm going to bring the exposure down just a touch more and then I might just increase the spread just a touch. So this is a really nice contrast we've got going on here between our light areas and dark areas and this is something that um, you know is often referred to as chiaroscuro um, it's the Italian term which literally means um, the transition between light and dark and um, Rembrandt and Caravaggio and people like that um, were masters of this this technique um, and you can you can see yourself how how dramatic this is um, but sometimes um, you you might just want to fill in a little bit of these shadows so I'm going to do that. I'm going to duplicate my area light. And I'm going to move it so that we're sort of side on. And I'm going to ref rotate. Bring it up a bit. We're obviously too bright here at the moment. I'll come back a little. Um, so we've got really flat lighting here now, um, but I'm going to decrease the, the exposure and just bring lift those shadows up a little bit so that we're not entirely dark over on, on, on this side. I'm going to add in a little bit of a color shift. So if I drop my... Um, my Kelvin number here, that's going to start going, uh, that's going to start getting warmer. 
So I'm just going to drop that to 4,800. And you see we've got more, more of a red tinge, a warmer, a warmer tinge on the right side of the face now. And I might, with this key light, might just increase this slightly. When I'm lighting anything, I like to see a little bit of those subtleties in 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 the way in the, the color of the lights and how they're being reflected on on the skin or on the surfaces so you know these little color shifts um are quite nice to sort of experiment with and play around with the eyes are very dark at the moment and that's because we haven't got any catch lights so usually you know in a photography studio um you know the the photographer might put um light sources around the room or they they might have a, a flash that goes off um you know triggered by the camera um, and they look you know a bit like this we could be um we could just put in an, another arnold light an area light but you'll notice if i zoom right in here that we've got this sort of rembrandt triangle in the catch light as well so i thought that was a nice little touch that we could do um so to to make that i we just need to create um prism so i'm going to polygon primitives I'm going to prism and then i'm going to just stop my render view a minute scale this down and i'm going to move it you you probably want this to be quite far away you know even maybe past the camera because we don't want it to light up the face too much but we just want it there you know in the corner of the eye catching catching the reflection so up to arnold lights and then mesh light let's start my render again increase the exposure zoom into my eyes here and have a look what we've got going on just isolate this okay that's nice and subtle it's not too over the top might shift it off to the side okay i could probably bring the exposure up a touch yeah and i'm liking this you can see that it's it is starting to light the background here as well if you scroll down in your light we do have the option to turn off um the contribution of of that of that light to the different channels here so we could turn off the diffuse and you'll notice that it removes it um from from the background it's also removing the diffuse from the face but we still have the 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 specularity in there so it's up to you if you want to you want to play about with that that value or not but um yeah that's how to set up uh, a one point lighting setup or um rembrandt lighting inside of maya uh, if you enjoyed this video um, please hit that subscribe button um, and um, this is a part of the, the lighting series um, so if you would like to watch along with any of those other videos um, I will post the description down um, I'll post sorry the playlist uh, link down in the description below um, but yeah thanks very much for watching um, have a good one cheers mm -hmm.